Hi again, so my name's Karen and today with Bluebell Arts we're going to make a foil plaque that you can put on the bedroom door or any door you want. So here's one I've made up already. I've done one for Bluebell Arts and what you need to make this is some cardboard. Cardboard from a box is really good, packing cardboard. If you don't have that then a cereal box will do and you need some tin foil. You need a pair of scissors, some white glue, PVA, school glue, anything you have, um, and a little bit of toilet roll, a brush, and some paint. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is find your cardboard. No. You want two pieces of cardboard and you want to cut them so they're just the same shape and we'll go back to those in a moment. And then you want to think of the design. Now the best designs to do for these, because you're putting tin foil over the top, is um, a design a bit like a stencil so you want all little sections in it. So you can see with this one I've done the letters separately I've cut out of cardboard and I've done the blue bells separately too. So. This time I'm going to try and do an owl. So I'm going to do the top part of the owl, the eyes, the beak and a little bit of wings and feathers. Very simple. Um, now, if you're unsure and you need some ideas, if you Google some simple stencils, it'll give you ideas of what to do. So I'm going to do this. Now, if you draw it out on a piece of paper first and do it in pencil, then you can do it in a dark pen afterwards just to follow all of your shapes. It doesn't matter if you need make any mistakes because there are no mistakes when you do things like this. Just have fun with it. So I'm going to do some little feathery shapes as well just to show you. There we go. Really simple. I'm doing an owl. I'm going to put it on my bedroom door so no one wakes me up. Okay. So that's my owl design. Once I've done that, I'm going to be, I, I'm going to cut this piece of card. I'm going to get ready for the next bit. Now, because I want to have a frame around my plaque, I'm going to draw that out. Now, you can use a ruler and make it really precise, but I'm just going to draw it. You don't want, you want just a little bit for a frame. I'm going to just draw it really quickly just to show you. But you can use a ruler and get it nice and straight. So that is my frame. Once I've got that, I'm going to make a little hole in my cardboard and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to try and cut the frame out in one piece if I can. Um, if you need help with this, I'm sure there'll be someone, an adult that can give you a hand with it. But basically you want to cut this out in one piece if you can. If you can't, don't worry, because you're going, going to be gluing it on anyway, but one piece just makes it a little bit easier. There we go. So, that's this part. That is my frame. Once I've got that part to the frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to PVA on it, white glue. I'm going to put glue along all the edges of that. And going to pop it on to my other piece of card. Now it will fit really well because remember you cut the two bits of card out the same size so it fits on like a frame. And then you know the piece of cardboard you've left over is where you're going to put your design to cut all your bits out. So you look at your picture or if you've done it the same size you can um, put a template on to cut it out if you want. I'm just going to do it very simple. I'm going to put on the top bit, I'm going to do my eyes, I'm going to do my little beak, I'm looking at my picture, make sure it's the same. I'm going to put my wings on and then I'm going to do the wee feathers that are the bits left over. So I'm going to just cut all of that out. So I'll just do a bit of this just to show you. So very quickly. And once you've got all of your little bits cut out, what you do is you place them onto your picture and you glue those on too. So you need a bit of glue on each one. 
and start building your picture up. Now remember to leave gaps between all the things. If you just do one picture and it's all together and completely one piece, it won't be as effective. So it's a really good idea if you can cut all the little separate bits out. It just looks so much better. What I'll do is I'll just do these little eyes here just to show you. So. I've made a bigger one um, to put the foil on um, so you can see it a bit clearer, but whoops, there we go, jumping eye, oh, oh, it's all jumping around now, <laughs> here we go, so you start building up, you get the idea, you put all of your bits of card on and then you're going to end up, when it's all stuck together, you'll end up with it like this, there's my owl. So once you've got that and you've got it all glued into place, what I'd like you to do is take your PVA and paint over the whole thing. So you want it totally covered in white glue. And now make sure when you do it, you go into all the little nooks and crannies, all the little bits around it. And it means that it will be much more secure when you put it all together. So once it's covered in PVA, what you need to do is get your tinfoil ready. I'm sure you've got some tinfoil in the cupboard. So take your tinfoil and make sure that you have it so it's a bit bigger than your picture. And at the end you're going to tuck all the edges around the other side. So cut the piece off. And now we're ready. So lay your tin foil over the top and gently press it down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of um, tissue paper and you're going to start pushing all the designs in. So if you rub very gently, now don't be too harsh because you don't want to rip your tin foil. As you rub all over it. Now sometimes if you've got a, a dry brush as well, you might want to use that. That will help you get into the little areas as well. And you want to do it over your whole picture and you'll start to see that the relief bits, the bits that you've sat up, will all start to fall in place. Now take a little bit of time over this because if you spend a bit of time and you make sure all the creases are really well in place, then at the end, when you put the paint on, it's going to pick up much more of your design. So if you do it too quick, it will look a bit messy. So you need to really spend time and hopefully you know your design pretty well so you know which bits to push in a bit more. Do it all the way over, everywhere, every little bit. And... And you have to be so gentle because you don't want to rip your foil. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to paint it. Now to paint it, you can use normal acrylic paint, um, poster paint, whatever that you have, any paint that you happen to have, happen to have even. Um, watercolour is not so good. But what you do want to do with your paint is you want to put a little bit of water in it. It just really helps when you put it together. And once you've got it, then just start painting over your design. Paint over absolutely everything. Just keep painting over the top of it. A little tiny touch of water just makes it spread a little more. Don't put too much in. But keep painting. I've done this very roughly, just to give you an idea. Just keep painting over it. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is go to all the bits that are sitting up. And the bits that are sitting up, you very gently just wipe the paint off. So keep it all, so it keeps it all around the outsides. Very gently wipe it off all the relief bits. And when you get to the end of it, you'll see that the bits that are sitting out stand out with your silver foil and the bits in the background are where your colour is. And you can do any design you want, think of something really good, but remember you can Google the stencil art designs and you can find something that you like. And I hope you have lots of fun. Okay, bye. See you next week.